All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at a very interesting card, which you would think that they would have came up with this design a long time ago, but they did. And now it's here, and it's it's not one of those weird tribute cards. It's kind of like uh, Soul Exchange or Monarch Stormforth, where it's like you're using your opponent's resources, except in a completely different way. This is Tribute Burial. It's a normal spell card that reads, Once during this turn, if you would tribute summon a monster that requires two tributes, you can banish one monster from either, from each graveyard, and tribute summon that monster without tribute. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. Wow, that, that's pretty powerful. So, I mean, you, you tribute a monster out of your graveyard, but you also get to spot banish one of the monsters from your opponent's graveyard, you know? It's just like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and activate this, and I'm going to tribute banish this monster from your grave, right? Yeah, you don't you don't need that Dante. You don't need that Dante. It's gone. I mean, one of my monsters, I don't even care, you know. Uh, to su tribute summon a monster that requires two tributes, i.e. one of your higher level, uh, level eight monarchs, without even having a monster on your field. So uh, sometimes what happens is uh, when you're dueling against monarchs, or the, you know, you're playing monarchs, you summon your idea, your idols, it gets a fake value, and you're pretty much done with the turn. You're like, right, well, I don't have the tributes, with this, you, you don't even need the monsters to tribute summon. Let's go ahead, play this, banish a card from your graveyard, ban I mean, banish a monster. It has to be a monster. It can't be a card. It'd be pretty powerful as a card. It has to be a monster from each player's graveyard to do it and tribute summon the monster without a tribute, but it still counts as a tribute summon. So your Erebus will still get the effect, your Ether will still get her effect, and uh, overall, it's pretty great. I mean, you cannot special summon uh, monsters to turn you out this card, so I guess Ether is, you know, you can't special summon. But, I mean, why do you care? You just literally just tribute summon, uh, tribute a monster that required two tributes. So I think that's a fair balance of You can't special summon, but you just tribute without tributing and banish the monster out of my graveyard. So I think that's totally fair. Uh, my problem with it is that it takes a little bit of setup, you know? Uh, in comparison to like Monarch Stormforce, it's kind of like, oh, you have a monster? Now I'm gonna go ahead and tribute that. Whether it be, you know, you went first and you set up a monster and I Monarch Stormforce to you during my turn, or I'm gonna go ahead and get the Ether set up and Monarch Stormforce and tribute during your turn. Uh, you're gonna have a monster. But this, it's like, I gotta have a monster in my graveyard, you gotta have a monster in your graveyard, and Monarchs, I mean, it really depends, you know? Uh, really early in the in the duel, they don't have monsters in the graveyard yet, so this could easily be a really dead draw early game, but, you know, later in the game, if you really need to get for Tribute Summon, you got your, like, return set up, and you're gonna get that search, then more power to you. Overall, it's not a terrible card, I think it's actually a really good card, um... And, I mean, technically it is an egg, but, you know, tributing for your tribute summons an egg in itself anyway. So that in itself is not terrible. But uh, overall, it's just cool that you can go ahead and banish a monster from either player's graveyard to just summon a tribute summon monster. I mean, it has to be one that requires two tributes, so you can't just, you know, tribute only from your opponent's graveyard, banish from your opponent's graveyard and only summon a one tribute. It has to be two tributes, which could be a dead draw on Monarchs. I mean, it's just like, a, a dead draw on Monarchs? Oh, great, because that, that totally needs more Brick City, right? So, but uh, I'm not sure if they'll play this. I know it really depends on how monarchs get hit and you know what they're willing to do. But overall, I don't think this is a terrible card. Like I said it's really hard to determine how great the card is in the current moment because there's not too many tributes. I mean, you could possibly play it in like Dark Lords, you know, like oh well, I'm gonna tr banish one monster from your game, right? One of my Dark Lord monsters, because you know you probably have plenty. You probably played trade in a couple of times and stuff like that. If some one of your Dark Lord monsters, maybe summon like. Uh, uh, Christia or, or something like that. So overall, not terrible, but just really situational and requires a lot of setup, but not a terrible card. So that's pretty much all I have to say about it. So tell me what you guys think about Tribute Burial in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with another card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.